Hey golfers, Dean with GolfAllYear.com, and today we're going to talk about the switch that I made from the OptiShot. I have sold my OptiShot, and I'm moving on. So what did I do, and am I happy with it? So let's take a look at why I decided to move from the OptiShot first. So why did I decide to move from the OptiShot? And let me start by saying that I love the OptiShot, and I think it's really helped me. Uh, but there is a limit to the OptiShot. The OptiShot is not the most accurate simulator out there. The OptiShot is only tracking the club, uh, and so you're only getting club data. So if you want to really focus on your uh, club face angle and swing path, OptiShot is great. Okay, The OptiShot also, because it only tracks club, you don't have to hit a ball. So there's a lot of advantages to it. Uh, but as you know, the OptiShot uh, is going to be putting out a new simulator called the Orbit, which is supposed to also track the ball. So they understand that the OptiShot 2 is super limited. So I just kind of am ready to move on. I want more stats. I want to be able to see my ball stats. I want to be able to you know, see my smash factor and those type of things. Uh, and I also want a, a accurate simulator. Uh, so that's a, a big reason is those stats. Uh, the other reason is I love the flexibility um, of other simulators. The OptiShot, you're stuck. I'm stuck in my garage or stuck where I put it. Uh, you can't take it outside, things like that. So the OptiShot was very frustrating in that sense. Uh, the other pieces of it, changing your club every time you, you want to hit a shot, um, you know, calibrating your clubs, things like that. Having to get the setting of the distance and the setting of your swing speed set uh, just really was frustrating. And, and I wanted to move on from that frustration. So let's talk about what I decided to do. All right. So first off, what I did is I went, I went on eBay and I sold my OptiShot with my thicker turf and I was able to make over $400 for, for that. So that's a huge plus uh, in uh, what I was doing. And, and the second thing that I did was I began to look at the SkyTrack. And I really have, have had my eyes on the SkyTrack and uh, really love the accuracy of it and uh, the things that it does. The issue I have with the SkyTrack, and if you know me, it's the price. Um, you know, I, if you're in the OptiShot, you know, you're looking for a bargain simulator and, and a budget simulator. The SkyTrack is not that. You, you know, you're talking, oh, you're, you're, you're going to spend $2,000 for the simulator and then you're going to spend, you know, $230 or $50 for the uh, software, and that'll be every year you have to re-up that software uh, because they use uh, an outside software. So um, can get really expensive. And just thinking about where I'm at and what I wanna do, I'd rather be on the golf course than spend that money on, on the SkyTrack and use that money uh, playing on the golf course. So um, I did not do the SkyTrack. Um, what I did is I got into my garage, and I moved everything and I created more space for my Garmin R10. And I got the Garmin R10. I already purchased that. That's about $600. Uh, so, you know, I'm, you know, with selling the OptiShot, you know, I, it, it cost me about $200 to, to get that Garmin. And um, so I cleared out the space. And the thing I love about the Garmin is that it is flexible. I can take it inside, I can take it outside. It also is, is very accurate. And so uh, by jumping to the Garmin R10, uh, you know, I'm really excited. And, and I've done videos on the R10 uh, and kind of was wishy-washy, but I think that I didn't have enough distance uh, behind the ball and in front of the ball to really make it accurate. Um, and so I've adjusted that and really loving what I've done with it. Um, and so now let's talk about the second piece to this. So if you know, if you have the R10 and you have an iPhone, uh, you are able to get some of the E6 uh, courses. I think you get five courses for your iPhone uh, free. And so you can use the E6 range and the E6 five courses. You can use it on your phone. If you want to project it, you get a little, you can use AirPlay, I believe. Some people use Apple AirPlay. I have a little plugin that I can plug it into my projector. So if I want to use E6, I can. Um, I am not a huge fan of E6 uh, just because of some of the complexities with it. But 
what I did is I spent a little bit more and I spent uh, $350 on awesome golf software. Uh, if you haven't heard of awesome golf software, go check it out. I'll put a link down below. Uh, and I also have some videos of it uh, here at the end. But Awesome Golf is very much what I was looking for. It's a lifetime subscription, so I don't have to pay every year. Um, it's $350 and you get a lot of stuff. You get, um, it, it connects to the Garmin and I believe it also connects to the Mevo. Um, so it, it, it uses those uh, simulators, but it connects to the Garmin specifically. It is super easy to connect it up to the Garmin once you figure it out. And that's a piece that I love. Um, and what it gives you is tons of options from the range to uh, challenges to actually playing on a course to a coaching uh, setting to competitions. Uh, so it really has a lot of things. And the thing I love about it is the... Um, it's very kind of simplistic. Uh, you know, you can use it with your family if you want, but it's very simplistic in, in what it shows and, and what it does. Uh, and you kind of can see that. And I like that. I don't like the complexity and having to click a bunch of buttons and looking at a bunch of stuff. Now, can you get a lot of the intricate stats? Absolutely. If that's what you want, you can get it with Awesome Golf, but you also, it, it has a really neat little range uh, and it is. Uh, you know, the, the other challenges are, are kind of fun to play if you, you, you just want something different. Um, it will keep all your stats for you. Um, and so what I want to do now is talk about how I use uh, the awesome golf software with the, the Garmin R10. The thing that I have really focused on uh, with the uh, awesome golf software is uh, they have a section that is club distancing. And so what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to, you're supposed to hit, can pick your clubs that you want to hit. And then it'll show you uh, your distance distribution, uh, dispersion, I should say, uh, and also your uh, lateral dispersion. So what it gives you is it, it, it will actually give you a, a score in a percentage. Uh, and so what I do is I put the clubs that I want to hit, and I really have been working on my pitching wedge, nine iron, eight iron, and I put those clubs in, and then you can hit, uh, you know, six to nine balls uh, with each of those clubs. And then it'll give you a little score depending on how straight you hit it, which I really focus on that, and your distance. So you can get the distances of your clubs uh, and know how far you hit your clubs, but you also can really work on trying to hit it straight. And I love that about this. And, and it really kind of challenges me every day. And so I get on there and I, I hit uh, my different clubs and I figure out how far I hit them, which has helped me immensely on the course. And I, I work on hitting it straight. I can adjust some things and it, you know, I can challenge myself every day to try to get that score higher and to get it uh, so that I'm hitting the ball straight. So that's how I use the uh, Awesome Golf software. Uh, if you like to play on the courses, the courses, the graphics aren't great. I'm not going to tell you that the graphics are great. If you want to play the courses, use your iPhone uh, and play the five courses with E6. Uh, that would be my suggestion. Um, but, you know, I'm more focused right now on trying to get better. I'll play courses during the summer, uh, real courses. And so I'm not as much concerned about that. Um, you know, they are only nine whole courses right now. Uh, so again, it's not necessarily for that, but all the other modes that you get, as you'll see in the, the, the videos that I post here, and you can go to their website, is awesome. And so you combine that, the Garmin R10, with the awesome Golf, and I am super happy. And that's for, you know, $1,000 um, you can get and be accurate. I can take it outside, and I can use it on my phone outside even. Uh, and so it is so cool. Uh, very excited. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this helps me um, in the long run uh, improve my handicap. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you tried it out and, and what you think of Awesome Golf and, and the Garmin R10. Um, I'm sticking with the Garmin R10. Um, you know, someday maybe Skytrack, but I'm really happy with the Garmin R10. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. And let's keep getting better at golf.